Hello and welcome back to India Business Insights. Today, let us discuss a sustainable future with biogas. Is biogas a bygone fuel of the future? For decades, India has been harnessing the potential of biogas as an alternative to LPG. However, due to lack of technical know-how and high initial investment required, impeded the widespread adoption of biogas. But the picture looks better now, as the Indian government aims to increase the natural gas contribution to the total energy mix to 15% by 2030 from the current 6.9%. So, let's dive into India's ambition with biofuel and the recent Global Biofuel Alliance. Fossil fuels kick-started the industrial age, but the possibility of running out of these fuels has set in motion a global movement towards utilizing renewable energies provided by solar, hydro and wind power along with biofuels. But what is biofuel? Biofuels are combustible materials that are produced over short spans of time from biomass rather than over millions of years such as fossil fuel. It is a catch-all term to define any fuel made from organic matter. The most common biofuels are bioalcohols such as ethanol, propanol and butanol. First generation biofuels are usually produced from edible feedstock. Ethanol production primarily involves distilling carbohydrates from sugarcane and beet or distilling starch from food grains such as maize, paddy, wheat and potatoes through fermentation. First generation biodiesel is produced from different types of vegetable oils such as canola oil, palm oil, soybean oil and sunflower oil. Second generation fuels are produced from lignocellulosic biomass which is obtained from energy crops or waste biomass such as agricultural and forest residue. Recently the production of biodiesel from algal biomass has also evolved as an option sometimes referred to as third generation biofuel. What is India's history with biofuels? Ethanol can be extracted from sugarcane, corn, rice and bamboo. Biodiesel can be made from animal fat, vegetable oil, soybean oil and restaurant grease. And hence, India is gung-ho about biofuels. Reducing dependence on importing expensive barrels of oil along with lack of massive reserves of oil to tap into easily. India is known to be the pioneer of biogas. The history goes back to when Rudolf Diesel used peanut oil to test his first engine. They were considered viable transport fuels and with the oil crisis in the 1970s, interest in biofuel began over concerns in energy security and now joined with climate change. India's first policy steps towards liquid biofuel was the ethanol blending program in 2003 which mandated a 5% blending rate for ethanol in petrol for nine states and four union territories and extended to the whole country in 2006 since then there have been interesting developments The Indian Biogas Association projects the installation of 5000 biogas plants by 2030 with an estimated investment of rupees 175 lakh crore in the sector According to the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, India's natural gas production stands at 34,000 million metric standard cubic meters of gas, while its consumption is at 64,000 million metric standard cubic meters of gas, resulting in a significant deficit. 47% of the total consumption is met through imports. Compressed biogas or CBG can play a significant role in enhancing energy security. benefits by reducing reliance on imported fuels india can become self reliant mitigate risks associated with price volatility and geopolitical uncertainties and promote a green and sustainable economy additionally it would benefit the environment by reducing greenhouse gas emissions providing a valuable contribution to mitigating climate change for example the global methane initiative estimates that biogas projects in india can mitigate 43 million tons of co2 emissions annually Furthermore, establishing biogas plants would promote rural development by creating more income opportunities and jobs and improving the quality of life for rural communities. It would also enhance the overall well-being of rural communities as using biogas for cooking fuel will improve indoor air quality and reduce associated health risks. Biogas projects also qualify for carbon credits providing additional revenue streams and monetary incentives. With the government's support and the increasing interest from startups and investors, biofuel in the energy sector can be a key driver in achieving sustainable growth. India companies showing keen interest in humble biogas. 
Recently, the national champions have been showing interest in this sector. Reliance Industries' foray into biogas shows how the biomass industry in India is booming. The company being the world's largest single location for oil refining complex announced that it will set up 100 CBG plants to convert agri-waste into gas. This will help mitigate nearly 2 million tons of carbon emissions and produce 2.5 million tons of organic manure annually, signaling a shift towards greener energy sources. Further, Adani Total Gas, part of Adani Group, intends to set up five CBG plants within the next five years, with further expansion on the horizon. Thermax Limited has planned for a fuel-fledged green energy foray into renewable power generation, electrolyzer manufacturing and green hydrogen generation projects over the coming years, as it seeks to meet the needs of customers transitioning to cleaner fuels. The company has set up three green focus subsidiaries to execute renewable energy projects. Ever Enviro is poised to invest nearly rupees 10,000 crore in this sector over the coming years. Their wholly owned subsidiary Green Growth Equity Fund has ambitious plans to establish 14 CBG plants across the nation. Oil marketing giants are not lagging behind. Companies like Indian Oil Corporation, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation and Bharat Petroleum Corporation have issued numerous letters of intent for the establishment of compressed biogas plants. What has prompted these companies to turn their attention to biogas? It's the technical, financial and social aspect of biogas. The technology is now getting mature, so people can now set up large-scale biogas plants, according to Gaurav Kedia, chairman of the Indian Biogas Association. The market for biogas was valued at US dollars 1.4 billion in 2021 and is expected to grow from US dollars 1.47 billion in 2022 to US dollars 2.25 billion in 2029 at a CAGR of 6.3% in the 2022-2029 period. Lack of technological advancements and high setup costs have impeded the widespread adoption of biogas in the past. Global Biogas Alliance India hosted the G20 summit recently with much enthusiasm and professionalism. One of the big deals that was signed during the summit was the Global Biofuel Alliance. It can be a win-win situation for the economy and environment. It can generate an opportunity of US dollars 200 billion considering the least investment required. Creating a favorable regulatory environment in the G20 countries and sharing technical know-how will be the key success of this biofuel alliance. GBA is an Indian-led initiative towards the goal of sustainability and clean energy. It aims at achieving worldwide development and deployment of sustainable biofuels through formulation of national policy, development of marketplace, evolution of technological competency and adoption and implementation of internationally recognized standards and codes of practice. This will help G20 nations reduce dependence on fossil fuels and help them meet sustainable development goals and reduce overall import bills for non-fossil fuels within the next three years. Pooling of mines and resources might help and it might function as advisors for government policy. The announcement of Global Biofuel Alliance by the PM during G20 summit has a historic significance in global efforts towards achieving clean energy goals, says Shri Pramod Kumar Tiwari. India's biogas program phase 1 for FY 2022-26. to There is ample potential for setting up biogas plants in India considering the livestock population and the dissemination of biogas technology is a boom for Indian farmers with its direct and collateral benefits. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy launched the biogas program to set up biogas plants for clean cooking fuel, improved sanitation, women empowerment and creation of rural employment. The government's commitment to purchasing all CBG produced at a floor price set by the government as a part of the sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation initiatives provide sustainability and confidence for producers. Currently, Indian oil manufacturing companies are working towards provisioning new distilleries for production of 1G and 2G ethanol and Indian vehicle manufacturers are developing engines compliant with ethanol blended fuel. Government has also started an interest subvention scheme for molasses and grain-based distilleries to promote ethanol production. It is also foreseen that flex fuel vehicles, which are capable of utilizing ethanol blended gasoline up to 85% and are already operational in the US and Brazil, are soon to make an entry in India. A way forward. There is a need to expand 1G biofuels with the proliferation of sugarcane and maize for ethanol be a part of broader sustainable land use strategy. Newer institutions must be set up to monitor the compliance of standards like local pollution, land laws and resource viability before implementing specific projects. Developing sustainable supply chain for 2G feedstock and promoting a circular economy is much needed. 
government policy and mandates can help accelerate the demand for these products and enable creation of viable market for these fuels. Innovation will also need to be encouraged through fiscal incentives such as tax credits for the production and loan guarantees for pilot projects. A long-term sustainable approach to biofuel production can help India become a champion for sustainable transport biofuels. India has a long way to go. We'll have to wait and see. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more such informative content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.